Good morning, Peace Ortigas! Welcome to a brand new day! Thank you once again for joining us tonight in a wonderful reflective prayer. This is our meal time with God. This is your feeding of your heart with God's love. Pero the Lord said, just, just allow yourself to be used by God. And siya bahala sa lahat. Are you ready to be blessed right now? Jesus said, you are the light. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. I feel that God really is watching over me. God is working in you. He never goes tired or weary. Ang Panginoon ay laging pinagtatanggol tayo. The Word of God comforts us. Lord, please use me today in any way. Allow yourself to be so thankful. One of the reasons that we're surviving right now is because of the grace and mercy of God. God is calling us day in, day out. The Lord can change you. The Lord can help you. This world is a world, even though the world can be a dark place, the world is also a good place. God will set an opportunity for you to be a great follower. What we can do now is we spread hope. We spread the light. Fill your heart with so much gratitude and joy. May the Lord empower and set you up with by His Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening, late night snackers. Welcome to the Late Night Snack. Happy Friday. I can't believe it's the end of May already and we are now into the mid-year of 2021. Hi, grabe, no? Kumusta po kayong lahat? Thank you for being here tonight and I honor you for giving yourself this time to sit still and meditate on how God has been with you throughout your day. We are going to pray the examine in a little while. The examine is a 500-year-old prayer taught to us by St. Ignatius of Loyola who recently celebrated 500 years, if I'm not mistaken, you know, of the Ignatian spirituality. You know, I fell in love with the Ignatian spirituality, the method... Um, of just praying and being with God, the the teaching about authenticity and just being with God, you know, finding God in our everyday life. And, you know, in my faith journey, my dearest brothers and sisters, I've always felt that, I've always felt that I've always been um, looking for an authentic way to connect to Him. And I hope that through this, through the daily examine, you are able to do that with Christ through the help of the Holy Spirit. I hope that you had a good week. If it wasn't such a good week, then we let that go tonight and we reflect and we sit still in God's presence. Every Friday, I try to share with you a word that we can bring into prayer. And tonight, I was reflecting on what I can share with you. Perhaps uh, what I can share is not just a word, but a phrase that has struck me through the year, uh, sorry, through the week. And it is this statement from the Bible timeline that I've been attending with uh, Jeff Cavins. We call him Tito Jeff. Me and my friends call him Tito Jeff. Feeling close coming. He said that, you know, it's just not enough to study the word, but to do it and to teach it. And now, for me, in my faith journey, I feel like doing the word, doing what he says, doing his will, has always been the most challenging. You know, we study his word, we try to get to know him better through the scriptures, but putting it into action is a whole different ballgame. And tonight, I hope that we can bring that into prayer to allow ourselves to be open on how God wants us, wants us to act on our faith and I hope that you will be able to hear a message from him I'm confident that he's with you tonight he's with all of us tonight as we gather as one virtually and just present ourselves and be still and try to hear God's voice let's begin before before uh, we go into the uh, meditative prayer, I'd like to encourage you to turn off all the other gadgets around you so that you are not distracted. Um, I hope that you are in a place where you can be by yourself and just, you know, will you allow yourself to just sit in the stillness 
in God's power. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's begin with a gentle invitation to stray away from the daily noise, to slow down and give peace some space. I hope that you are in a position wherein you can open yourselves up to God and have a meaningful encounter with Him. St. Ignatius suggests that every time we begin a prayer exercise, we should pause for a few moments as we recollect ourselves and consider how God beholds you. I invite you to take a deep breath, a few deep breaths and center yourself. Take a deep breath and breathe out gently. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, and when you inhale, inhale God's love, and when you exhale, exhale all the worries, doubts, and fears that you may be experiencing right at this very moment. We prepare ourselves to encounter God in this examine. Our invitation is to find the courage to look into our day today. Our invitation is to trust that God is with us, that God will show us where He was during our day. Now, let us look at our day and review the day with gratitude. Gratitude is the foundation of our relationship with God. Let's walk through our day in the presence of God and note its joys and delights. Let us take this moment to focus on the day's gifts. Look at the work that you did, the people you interacted with, virtually, or at home? What did you receive from them? Or what did you experience during the day? Perhaps you received a nice compliment which made you smile. You probably received a good job from your boss, a compliment, an affirmation or a simple appreciation from your spouse or your sibling or your child for whatever it is that you were able to do for them. Pay attention to small things. Perhaps you are grateful that you have food on the table, you have clothes at your back, you have a wonderful and warm home, you have family around you. Perhaps you are grateful for that walk for that fresh air. Find joy and be grateful for the seemingly small pleasures. God is in the details. Now, pay attention to your emotions. One of St. Ignatius's great insights was that we detect the presence of the Spirit of God in the movements of our emotions. Right now, reflect on the feelings you experienced during the day. When you woke up this morning, did you feel energized? Did you feel excited, refreshed after a holiday, after having a good rest? Or did you feel bored? 
during the day did you have any feelings of resentment or disconnection did you have any feelings of insecurities allow the holy spirit to guide you through the day through the moments where you felt a strong emotion god will most likely show you some ways that you fell short Make note of these sins and faults, but look deeply for other implications. Does a feeling of frustration perhaps mean that God wants you to consider a new direction in some area of your life? Are you concerned about a friend? Perhaps you should reach out to her in some way. Whatever it is that is arising right now at this moment in prayer, bring that to God and Ask God for clarity or whatever heavy feeling that you're feeling right now, surrender it to the Lord for He's the only one who will be able to give us peace. Now choose one feature of the day and pray for it. Ask the Holy Spirit to direct you to something during today that God thinks is particularly important for you. It may involve a feeling, positive or negative. It may be a significant encounter with another person or a vivid moment of pleasure or peace. Or it may be something that seems rather insignificant. Look at it. Is there anything that comes up with you at this moment? Perhaps you lost your temper. Perhaps you felt you're not enough. Perhaps a past mistake haunted you. A past hurt. Perhaps you got reminded of something that you did today that you felt guilty about. Or if nothing comes up at this very moment, it's fine. Bring that into prayer still and pray about it. Allow the prayer to arise spontaneously from your heart, whether it's an intercession, a prayer of praise, a prayer of repentance, or a prayer of gratitude. Bring that to God at this very moment. And now, Look toward tomorrow. Ask God to give you light for tomorrow's challenges. Pay attention to the feelings that surface as you survey what's coming up. Do you feel doubtful of tomorrow? Do you have anxieties? Or do you feel cheerful or hopeful? Or do you feel worried? Or are you full of delighted anticipation? Allow these feelings to turn into prayer and seek God's guidance. Ask Him for help and understanding and pray for hope. St. Ignatius encouraged people to talk to Jesus like a friend. End this with a conversation with Jesus and ask forgiveness for your sins. Ask protection for His help. Ask for his wisdom about the questions you have and the problems you face. Do all this in the spirit of gratitude. Your life is a gift and it is adorned with gifts from God. Let us end this examine with a prayer that God taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. St. Ignatius of Loyola, pray for us.
Thank you, my dearest brothers and sisters, for being with us tonight. I hope that you were able to listen and listen well to God's message for you tonight. And I'm sure that He is delighted and is looking at you right now, each one of you who's here tonight, with awe and, and, and happiness and joy in His heart. He's happy that you were able to carve out this time to have a date with him and to just be with him. So I honor you, my dearest brothers and sisters, and I hope that we will still see each other again next time here at the Late Night Snack. I hope that you will make the exam in an everyday part of your prayer time. And as always, let's end with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, I praise and thank you for my dearest brothers and sisters who are here with us tonight. Lord, you know what's in their hearts. Reveal yourselves to them. Be with them and answer them. Communicate with them, connect with them in the best way that they are able to connect with you. Meet us all where we are right now. And we pray for a great weekend, a good night and refreshing sleep, oh Father God. We thank you so very much for your love and grace. And we praise you above all things. Thank you, Father God, and we pray for your wisdom and your guidance always. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, my dearest brothers and sisters. Have a good night's sleep and have a great weekend with your loved ones. Bye. years na po akong nandito sa Jeremiah Foundation. Noong una akong napunta dito sa Jeremiah, isa po sa naramdaman ko yung hindi ko alam kung paano may kisama sa kanina dahil sa paguhan pa lang ako. Nung tumagal na po ako dito, naging ano naman po ako sa kanila. Comfortable yung kasama, ganon. Hindi naman din po mahirap. Sa loob po ng dalawang taon, siguro po yung mga nagbago sa akin is yung tutukan po yung pag-aaral ko. Unti-unti po sumunod sa mga nakakatanda sa akin at yung hindi na po sasagot. Yung gusto ko lang pong sabihin sa mga taong gusto pa pong tumulong sa Jeremiah. Pag lang po kayong mahiya dahil anytime naman po pwede naman po kayong tumawag to or gusto nyo pong mag-outreach sa amin. Thank you din po sa mga nagbibigay po sa amin ng love. Hindi lang po sa mga ibang tao kundi po yan sa mga gusto po pong pumunta sa amin. Thank you for the love po. Music